In this video, we're going to take a look at how to add a URL to Moodle 2. But before we begin, I want to point out that we're going to be uh, doing this with our Moodle in collapsed mode. Notice you only see uh, topic number one right here. And I have my navigation options right here. Okay, so let's get started. The first thing I'm going to do is come up to turn editing on and click that. The next thing I'm going to do is go to add a resource, click on that drop down menu, and notice it says URL. This is what I would select to add a URL or a website. Once I click on that, it's going to take me to this page. In this case, I'm going to add Limburg Schools, uh, the district main page right here. So I'll go ahead and name that up here. Notice uh, name is in red with an asterisk, so we have to uh, add something here as well as a description. Now again, you can get as specific as you want with this, uh, but in this case, all I'm going to do is add Lindbergh Schools homepage. Now, adding a URL is as easy as, at this point, going to my URL, which I would normally open in a new tab, right-click, copy the URL, come back to the Moodle page where I would add the URL, right-click, paste, and that's it. Okay. So at this point, I've added the URL. The question now is, what is that URL going to look like in my Moodle page. Um, and we have a few options here in terms of display. If I click on this, I have four options automatic, embedded, open, and in pop up. In addition to that, if I select display URL name, it will show this right here. If I select display URL description, it will also show this right here. Okay. So I can choose to not show either or to show both. Okay. In this case, I'm just going to show you what it looks like in pop up. Okay. And when I select this, it's going to open a new page, which is typically how you would add a web page. But I'm going to show you what it looks like uh, if you add it using the other options. So once I select in pop up, I simply go down to save and return to course. Okay, there's my URL. I'll go ahead and turn editing off so you can see what it looks like. And once I click on this, it's going to take me to Lindbergh's homepage in a new web page. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and select topic two where I have put some examples of if you choose automatic, embed, open, or pop-up. Okay? Let's go ahead and see what these look like. I'm going to add all of these the same way as I just added that pop-up URL. Um, the only thing that's going to change is what I select, whether it's automatic, embed, open, or pop-up. Let's go ahead and let's see what it looks like automatic. If I click this, notice it's going to keep me within Moodle and take me to another uh, Moodle page that has a link to Lindbergh Schools. Once I click on this, it's going to take me away from Moodle and to the Limburg main page. One other item to note is I selected display URL description, which is why you see this is the Limburg homepage right here. So that is if I select automatic. If I select embed, and this is kind of cool, it's going to take the page and embed it directly in Moodle. Okay, so it's taking me to the page, but it's keeping me within Moodle. Now, notice I can still navigate the page and, and so on and so forth. Um, now, this all depends on what you're trying to accomplish with the students, whether you'd use this or another option. This is a pretty cool looking option because it does keep the page within Moodle. Um, as far as we know, it doesn't decrease any functionality of the web page itself. 
If I click open, if I select the open option, it's going to take me to the web page, but take me away from Moodle. And as demonstrated in the initial uh, demonstration, if I select in pop-up, it's going to open up a new web page and take me to Lindbergh Schools. All right. I'm going to go back to my topic number one. I'll turn editing back on, and let's take you through the process one more time. I'll just delete this so we get a fresh start. So I'm going to add a resource, select URL. Give the URL a name. Okay, Lindbergh Schools. Give the URL description because both of these things are, are required. All right. Scroll down to where I would actually add the URL. And in this case, I'm just I've already opened up the page I want to add. Simply copy. And paste. Select the display options that you want automatic, embed, open, or pop up. Um, typically, I would suggest using pop up only because it's going to be less confusing to the student because they'll still have their Moodle page open, but it also takes them to the page that you want them to see. But again, it just depends on what your goals are. Notice also if I select pop up, it's not going to, there's not going to be an opportunity to display the URL name or description, so we wouldn't have to worry about that in that case. Once I just, um, select my display, select Save and Return to Course, uh, turn editing off, and click the URL. And this has been how to add a URL in Moodle 2.